Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Today I'm out for a walk. This vlog is following directly on from my previous one. I'm on Greenwood Avenue at the moment, but I'm about to turn off Greenwood and go down here. And this street I'm on now is called Fir Grove. I am heading on to Horside Lane to check the demolition of the Empire Bingo slash Social Club to see how that's going along. But for now, just enjoy the nice walk in what is pleasant sunshine. It's kind of nice how the weather's changed. I am a little overdressed. That street I've just passed there is Glastonbury Avenue. And the one I'm coming up to on my right is Dover Road. I'm just listening to the birds and nothing else. There you go, that is Dover Road. This one to the left is Mayfair Road. I'm just going to walk to the end of here and then I'm going to turn right and get back onto Horside Lane. Well, Ansel Road, Horside Lane, Spen Corner. The street I'm coming up to now is Laurel Avenue. So, guys, while we're walking down here, I'm just going to tell you some of the things I've been doing the last couple of days. I've been doing a lot of baking. I bought a magic bag from Morrison's the other day and I've talked about them before. For those of you that don't know, the magic bags, they come from an app called Too Good To Go and certain shops and businesses that have joined in, joined this app, they sell bags of food that's just about to expire. But a lot more cheaply than they would normally sell it at. That is Brungrove. So when her shop has a bag of food to sell, they put it up on the app. And if it's close to where you live, you can click and reserve it. And I got a bag the other day from Morrison's. And oh my gosh, there was so much stuff in it. There was carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, bananas, bread, veggies, potatoes tomatoes were just probably about over £10 worth of food, just £3. So in order not to waste any of this food I've just been baking and baking. There's a massive loaf of white bread in the box and I don't normally eat white bread and I don't normally eat or buy ever big loaves of bread. I just buy the tiny little roll sometimes or a tiny little loaf of Warburton's brown bread because I don't usually eat a lot of bread so I wanted to figure something out what I could do with this big loaf of white bread so I made a massive bread pudding it turned out really nice and then I took all the carrots and I don't carrots is one thing I really don't like. I don't mind them grated on a salad but I don't like them cooked. I don't like the flavour so I baked all the carrots into a carrot cake and both turned out really nice. In fact just to show you what I baked I put a little picture in now of my delicious bread pudding and carrot cake in the video now. seeing those pictures both were very delicious oh my gosh a special carrot cake and all the veggies I'm just gonna 
car for them more things to chips. Put some spices on them. Well, blanch them first, put some spices on them. And then just freeze them and then I'll have some vegetable oven chips to use when I want. Or the mushrooms, I'll either make a couple of giant mushroom omelettes or a mushroom pasta or I could chop and freeze them as well. You can freeze practically anything. Because I'm really trying to make sure I don't waste anything. Because I think if you get a lot of good food for fairly cheap, it's only a good bargain if you actually use it all and you don't let it go to waste. So I'm going to make sure I use everything. See now, I'm heading towards the same corner. So once I get to here, I'm just going to turn off down Horseside Lane and head towards the Bingham and Social Club and give you folks an update on what's going on with the demolition. Whether or not they're actually finally pulling it down or still working on the inside. If they're doing some actual demolition, I'll film for quite a bit longer. But if they're just working on the inside, same as they were the other day, it'll just be a really quick, you know, bin to check, nothing much is going on video. Have to wait and see. You know, in my look, they'll have started on demolition, done a lot of this morning, and they'll be on a dinner break or something. It's probably that time of the day when people would stop for lunch. What if that's happening? We're going to find out when I get there. I do have Horseside Lane on my channel. I don't think I did it as an official Streets of Blackpool series, so I think I just filmed down here and walked whilst I was vlogging one day. The road's fairly quiet, which is good. Glove license there. Both cabs barbers across their footprints, print signs, clothing, and get things printed. From there, coming up to now the cottage bakery, that's been there for years. A few cottage bakeries in Blackpool. I actually love the cottage bakery food, it is so delicious. It really is. Everything I have from there. It's really tasty. There's the PDSA Pet Hospital. To the right there is Tranmere Road and on the left hand side is the Lane Ends pub. I always look at pubs like that and think that would make a magnificent house. Just imagine if that was your house, you'd have to have a nice big wall around it but how cool would it be for that to be your entrance to your house and that big window there in your living room letting such a lot of light in and you'd have parking as well there's a couple of shops on the other side Arnold's convenience store newspapers, bread and milk, tea, coffee, cakes and biscuits what more do you need? King Chef 88, fish and chips and Chinese meals. And there, we've got Stephen's building maintenance contractors. And that is Hemingway. Flats of 
across the road on the right, that is Manor Court. That is Crossland Road. I think that leads on to Penrose Avenue, Vicarage Lane area. My geographical knowledge of the streets around here isn't perfect. I just roughly know where most streets are. I don't really know for sure all the names of all the streets. That is Troughton Crescent, and that leads down there to a park. Oh, I'm just going to stay down here. And right now I am nearly at my destination, so I'm going to end this little vlog now. So I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Maybe even leave a comment as well. And I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Goodbye.